Hello, everyone, and welcome to the DU Weekly Check-In. I'm joined by women's head golf coach, Lindsay Cool. Lindsay, you had a very unique uh, tournament play this weekend, playing 17, 72 holes. That's like a marathon. Um, going with that stroke play and then four rounds of match play. Um, how did you view this whole tournament and um, the grand scope of things? I think this is one of the best tournaments we play in all year. Um, t- for it to be stroke play and for our players and coaches to feel the excitement and maybe a little bit pressure to finish in the top eight to get into the top bracket, which was the red bracket at Georgia, um, is exactly what we're going to feel like in, in three to four weeks at regionals. So I thought it was a great experience, you know, and then we made it into the top eight as the seventh seed and um, really had great help from our freshman Jessica Cardi shooting 74 being the low round. But getting back into match play and playing the fourth-ranked Arkansas Razorbacks and then playing the 12th-ranked Alabama Crimson Tide And then finally, Northwestern Wildcats, they're ranked 22nd. We played three top 25 teams Mm -hmm. in the last two days on Saturday and Sunday. And I think it was just great experience on a very difficult golf course to play those top teams and kind of see how we measure. I think we learned a lot about our games and also, um, I think, got some great confidence coming in to the conference tournament that we have in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those match play events um, were with top top ranked teams and top ranked players. Uh, Tanya Daffenrud, your senior, uh, has been consistent all year for you. She ended up playing two of the Anika Award watchlisters, which is awarded to the best female golfer in the country at the end of the year. Um, her first match with Gabby Lopez, who shot a tournament low round in the stroke play event to m- make it into match play, and then had to play Tanya. Um, talk about that matchup, and then this, the second matchup with Stephanie Meadow, who's number three in the country. Yes, exactly. Tanya got really great experience playing number one in all three matches. Playing Gabby Lopez, who shot 66 that first day, she's a tough competitor. And and Tanya tried her hardest, um, but fell a little short. But against Stephanie Meadows, uh, Tanya was just on. She putted really well, birdied the first two holes, made two 10-footers, and just had the momentum all day. But I think that's a huge confidence boost for Tanya to to play against Stephanie Meadow, who has been player of the year for Alabama. Um, not only for Alabama, but for the national in that NCAA for women's golf in the last couple of years. So she's one of the best, and she'll have a great future. But just for Tanya to play against her and play so well and, and win, I think Tanya came a lot came away with a lot of confidence this weekend. And then talk about some of the other people that contributed big time. You have your other freshman, Marielle Bruin, uh, who won her last two matches. Um, and then you have... Elise, who won a match and, and took one down to the wire in that second day, um, you're getting production out of your whole lineup and at the right time heading into this conference tournament next week. Exactly. I think we've been kind of searching for a fourth and fifth player to step up for the whole year. Um, we've had a signs of that at the two-lane tournament when we finished fourth. Um, but I, I really am proud of Jessica Cardi, our freshman, for shooting 74 in that first round to make it to match play and then winning the first match against Arkansas. Then Marielle got 2.5 points out of three for us. So she won two matches and tied one against great competitors. She's a great match player. She loves to compete and has a game that she can make birdies and be aggressive. I think she had 13 birdies in in four rounds, which was the most on the team. So she played great. And then Elise, you know, playing number, number two for us and having to play the number two players of the top 20 teams that I talked about, I think is very difficult. And, you know, she stepped up tying Janie Jackson for Alabama, taking it to the last hole. Um, So really proud, proud of all five of our players. Izzy Southerd helped finish the first day. She got off to a a little bit of a tough start, but shot even part of the last six holes to help us. And we counted her score that first day to make it to match play. Absolutely. And so that match play event will be what you will see similarly with the um, Nationals, but first on the docket, you have the Summit League Conference Tournament down in Texas. Um, that's just about, I think, a little over two weeks away. Mm-hmm. Um, how will you p- use this time to prepare for that, and what can we expect on that golf course? Yeah, we, we know a little bit about the golf course. Um, it's I think, rewards good ball strikers and putters, just like many other golf courses, but I think we're going to really focus on our wedges, our short wedges, um, anything inside... 70 yards to 120 yards for their approach shots and a lot of putting. I think we can always can, can continue to improve our short game and our ball striking. So we're going to work hard here in the next 12 days, and, and in exactly two weeks will be our first round. Okay. Thank you for stopping by and checking us up on the women's golf. And as always, you can follow on Twitter 
and like on Facebook. Thank you for joining us on the DU Weekly Check-In.